Hey what's up guys welcome back to another exciting episode of iDevice guys this is Puneet Khatri back and hope you guys are doing good. So guys this video is all about how to just go ahead and restore from iOS 10 to iOS 9. So if you missed my last video I had actually demonstrated how to go ahead and upgrade your iOS 9 running device to iOS 10. So you can see in this device I, on my iPhone 5 I have iOS 10 installed you can do make sure that by the home application of right here. And on my left side here, I have iPhone 6, which is on iOS 9. So this video now is all about how to again go ahead and restore from iOS 10 to iOS 9. Uh, you might be thinking, why should I go ahead and do that? So there are pretty much many reasons for doing that because iOS 10 is yet in a beta stage and you might not like that because it would be lagging a lot or you might be facing some problems such as application crashing. Alright, so I think uh, you're pretty excited, so let's not waste any bit of time and get right into this video. So let's get started. Alright, so guys, what next you need to do is that you need to connect your device via a USB data cable as I did right now over here. You can see that. So once you've connected the device, what you need to do is you need to move over to your computer and uh, you need to do something like this. So you once you're there onto your computer, what you need to do, go onto your browser and there will be a link down in the description. Just go ahead and tap on that link and you would be taken to this website that is ipsw.me alright so once you're there over here you can see up right here select a device so whichever device you're gonna downgrade from iOS 10 to iOS 9 just go ahead and tap here and search for the device so in my case this is an iPhone 5 so let's go ahead and type for iPhone 5 you need to be very particular for the version of your device or the model of your device which you have so in my case this is the iPhone 5 global model Okay, so from here, once you select the device, you get an option for iOS versions. So here you can see you need to select only the version which is in green, which is signed by Apple. Because if you're going to select any other option, then you won't be able to upgrade. Uh, like you won't be able to downgrade and update your device back. So what you need to do, select the green option and hit download over here. And you will be able to download this file, which is iPhone 5.2 9.3.2. Alright, so uh, also I would like to mention that iOS 9.3.2 is the latest iOS signed firmware as of I'm recording this video. Alright, so guys, once you have the software, what you need to do is get into iTunes. Once you're in the iTunes, click over here. And also, guys, you need to make sure that your iTunes is up to date. Okay, so guys, once you click over here, you need to select this option that says for uh, your device. So once I am here, what I need to make sure is that. I just uh, click on check for updates so if you're using a Mac like me tap the option key uh, or the alt key if you're using a Windows keyboard with your Mac or if you're using a Windows PC then uh, hold the shift key so guys let's go ahead and click on check for update once you click there you need to select the folder or wherever you have stored the IPSW files for my case it's in the download folder so I just need to select that and open once you select that, just again you would get a pop-up saying update. Just go ahead and tap our update and iTunes would go ahead and start extracting the software and update your device back from iOS 10 to iOS 9. So now I will get back to you guys once the process has been completed. Okay so guys the device is already up now and uh, let me just show you that it has been successfully updated. Okay so guys you can see that the home application has been gone away and let me just give you confirmation. So you can see that the device version is 9.3.2 now. Okay so guys yes finally we have downgraded now and uh, I just showed you in the settings that it has been successfully been downgraded from iOS 10 to iOS 9. Also again to make sure uh, I can just show you the old control center up right here. I can show you the notification over here. I can also show you the lock screen because uh, on iOS 10 we do not have a swipe to unlock option. And also I do not have the home application up right. So guys I think you enjoyed this video. If you didn't please do make sure to give a thumbs up to this video. Subscribe to iDevice Guide and please do make sure to share this video if it was helpful for you. I'll get back to you guys with another great video. Peace.